Notice to Jim Jordan, Matt Gates, and the United States House of Representatives. We the people wish to address the constant misrepresentation and neglect of our rights by many of our public officers. Specifically, we wish to address President Joseph R. Biden and his negligent actions where he has signed a declaration with the United Nations claiming to have given away we the people's sovereignty. We wish for immediate clarification on how any trustee of the people can give away any of our inherent rights that are absolutely guaranteed to us. As the people, our forefathers accepted every right that is declared in all 50 bills and declarations of rights of each state constitution out of the general powers of government. <clears throat> and they shall forever remain inviolate. How are our trustees and servants making deals with foreign nations where they are attempting to give away rights that they have sworn an oath and affirmation to never harm, impair, or trespass against? Texas Constitution, Article 1, Bill of Rights, Section 29. Provisions of Bill of Rights accepted from powers of government to forever remain inviolate. And I quote, to guard against transgressions of the high powers herein delegated, we declare that everything in this Bill of Rights is accepted out of the general powers of government and shall forever remain inviolate and all laws contrary thereto or to the following provisions shall be void." Close quote. All people of all states, please sign this notice as President Biden has zero authority to give away any rights guaranteed to the people. And I'll post it below in the video, but here it is for those who need to hear it. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash form dot jot form dot com forward slash two three zero two three five nine five nine nine zero nine one six four. Notice to Jim Jordan, Matt Gates, and the United States House of Representatives. Notice to agent is notice to principal and notice to principal is notice to agent. I, one of the people of the 50 American states, in parentheses, as seen in the bills and declarations of rights of the 50 state constitutions, close parentheses, sui juris, Republican in form, do present you with this notice so that you and your agents as the trustees and servants of the people may provide immediate due care by way of necessity. Semicolon. Please take notice that we the people have taken the time to study and learn the law as expressly written and declared in our 51 constitutions. All power is vested in and derived from we the people. All government of right originates with the people and is founded on our will only and is instituted solely for the good of the whole. All officers of government are our trustees and servants and are at all times amenable to us, the people. Parentheses, see evidence below. Vermont Constitution, Chapter 1, Article 6, Officers, Servants of the People. And I quote, that all power being originally inherent in and consequently derived from the people, therefore all officers of government, whether legislative or executive, are their trustees and servants and at all times, in a legal way, accountable to them." Close quote. 
Georgia Constitution, Article 1, Section 2, Paragraph 1, Origin and Foundation of Government. And I quote, All government of right originates with the people, is founded upon their will only, and is instituted solely for the good of the whole. Public officers are the trustees and servants of the people and are at all times amenable to them. Close quote. Maxim of Law 51b. The government is to be subject to the law, for the law makes the government. Please take notice that it is the absolute guaranteed right of the people to assemble together, to consult for the common good, and to provide our representatives with a frequent recurrence to the fundamental principles of law, to ensure our rights, and to maintain a free government. See evidence below. Virginia Constitution, Article 1, Bill of Rights, Section 15. Qualities necessary to preservation of free government. And I quote, that no free government nor the blessings of liberty can be preserved to any people, but by a firm adherence to justice, moderation, temperance, frugality, and virtue, by frequent recurrence to fundamental principles, and by the recognition by all citizens that they have duties as well as rights, and that such rights cannot be enjoyed save in a society where law is respected and due process is observed. <clears throat> that free government rests, as does all progress, upon the broadest possible diffusion of knowledge, and that the commonwealth should avail itself of those talents which nature has shown so liberally among its people by assuring the opportunity for their fullest development by an effective system of education throughout the commonwealth." Close quote. Vermont Constitution, Chapter 1, Article 18, Regard to Fundamental Principles and Virtues Necessary to Preserve Liberty. And I quote, that frequent recurrence to fundamental principles and a firm adherence to justice, moderation, temperance, industry, and frugality are absolutely necessary <clears throat> to preserve the blessings of liberty and keep government free. The people ought, therefore, to pay particular attention to these points in the choice of officers and representatives and have a right in a legal way to exact a due and constant regard to them from their legislators and magistrates in making and executing such laws as are necessary for the good government of the state." Close quote. Massachusetts Constitution, Part the First, Article 19. And I quote, the people have a right in an orderly and peaceable manner to assemble to consult upon the common good, give instructions to their representatives, and to request of the legislative body, by the way of addresses, petitions, or remonstrances, redress of the wrongs done them, and of the grievances they suffer. Close quote. Please take notice that we, the people, as the creators and institutors of all government in our nation, wish to address the constant misrepresentation and neglect of our rights by many of our public officers. Specifically, we wish to address President Joseph R. Biden and his negligent actions where he has signed a declaration with the United Nations claiming to have given away 
we, the people's sovereignty. We wish for immediate clarification on how any trustee of the people can give away any of our inherent rights that are absolutely guaranteed to us. As the people, our forefathers accepted every right that is declared in all 50 bills and declarations of rights of each state constitution out of the general powers of government and they shall forever remain inviolate. How are our trustees and servants making deals with foreign nations where they are attempting to give away rights that they have sworn an oath and affirmation to never harm, impair, or trespass against? See evidence below. Texas Constitution, Article 1, Bill of Rights, Section 29. Provisions of Bill of Rights Accepted from Powers of Government to forever remain inviolate. And I quote, to guard against transgressions of the high powers herein delegated, we declare that everything in this Bill of Rights is accepted out of the general powers of government and shall forever remain inviolate, and all laws contrary thereto or to the following provisions shall be void. Close quote. Pennsylvania Constitution, Article 1, Section 25, Reservation of Powers in People, and I quote, to guard against the transgressions of the high powers which we have delegated, we declare that everything in this article is accepted out of the general powers of government and shall forever remain inviolate. Close quote. Kentucky Constitution, Bill of Rights, Section 2. And I quote, Absolute and arbitrary power over the lives, liberty, and property of free men exists nowhere in a republic, not even in the, high, in the largest majority, close quote. Maxim of Law 84C, punishment is due if the words of an oath be false. Maxim of Law 4F, faith must be observed, an agent must not violate the confidence reposed in him. Maxim of Law 43a, those things which cannot be given or which are not in existence are held as not expressed. Maxim of Law 11f, power can never be delegated, which the authority said to delegate never possessed itself. Please take notice that we the people are aware of President Joseph R. Biden's incompetence and failure to faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of his elected public office as President of the United States. Please show where in the constitutions that any trustee, servant, or agent of the people has been delegated power or authority to make private agreements against the guaranteed rights of the people. We the people wish to see the constitutional authority that grants any trustee and agent of the people immunity from liability for violating your oath of office and any of the terms as expressly written and declared in your trust indenture, the Constitution. As servants and agents of the people, are you not at all times accountable and amenable to the people? Failure to provide the constitutional provisions means your actions are a trespass against the people with full knowledge, intent, and malice. See evidence below. Maxim of Law 86G, there is no doubt 
that the rights of others, third parties, cannot be prejudiced by private agreements. Maxim of Law 4D. An agent is a person authorized by another to act on his account and under his control. Maxim of Law 29H. Gross negligent is equivalent to fraud. Please take notice that it is my wish, order, and demand for Representatives Matt Gates and Jim Jordan to immediately make public statements regarding the people's rights and to declare to the nation that President Biden has not been de delegated such powers or privileges by we the people that grants him the authority to give away our sovereignty or remove our rights granted to us by God. We the people trust that as faithful agents of the people, you will take due care to guarantee that the people's individual rights and liberties are at all times being protected. See evidence below. Maxim of Law 51i. Individual liberties are antecedent to all government. Maxim of Law 86a. It would be idle and trite to say that no right is absolute. Maxim of Law 59F. He who does not repel an injury when he can, induces it. Maxim of Law 44N. To commit an act and not to prohibit one when in your power is the same thing, and he who does not prohibit or forbid when he can prevent it is in fault, or does the same as ordering it to be done. Please take notice, Justice Gorsuch and the Supreme Court. We the people are sending this notice to you as evidence of the continual neglect and repeated maladministration of our trustees and servants in government across the nation for their failure to perform the duties of their office, abide by their oath, and adhere to their contract with the people. Furthermore, as the people, we are fully aware of your duty and obligation to act out of necessity as our trustees and servants in order to preserve our Republican form of government. Please take notice that we the people wish for all trustees, servants, and agents of the people to immediately cease and desist in calling our constitutional republic a democracy. Your repeated attempts to claim certain behaviors and actions are a threat to our democracy. That's in quotes. Again, I'll repeat. In quotes, threat to our democracy, close quote, are considered a trespass against the people with full intent, knowledge, and malice. The word democracy cannot be found written in any of the 51 constitutions. The idea of a democracy is a complete hoax and is 100% a threat to our constitutional republic. See evidence below. Texas Constitution, Article 1, Section 2, and I quote, All political power is inherent in the people, and all free governments are founded on their authority and instituted for their benefit. The faith of the people of Texas stands pledged to the preservation of a republican form of government. And subject to this limitation only, they have at all times and uh, the inalienable right to alter, reform, or abolish their government in such manner as they may think expedient. Close quote. The United States Constitution, Article 4, Section 4. And I quote The United States shall guarantee to every state in this union a republican form of government. 
and shall protect each of them against invasion. And on application of the legislature or of the executive, and in parentheses, when the legislature cannot be convened, close parentheses, against domestic violence, close quote. Please take notice that the people understand and wish to remind you that as public officers and trustees of the people, you are bound by oath and contract to the people. It is your duty and obligation to ensure that our rights and liberties are at all times protected. Maintain a free government and keep the people safe, secure, and happy. Furthermore, it is, uh, is it not the inherent and absolute guaranteed right of we the people to reform, alter, and abolish any government when it fails in its chief design or at the mere danger of maladministration? We the people wish for you, by necessity, to take immediate action to preserve our constitutional government in all 50 states and to make statements declaring that we the people have all political power. Please respond within seven days of the notice, publicly, as this is of the utmost importance to the people in restoring our republic. Any inaction or failure to fulfill our will, as declared in this notice, will be taken as a trespass against the people, as done with full knowledge, intent, and malice. Furthermore, this notice will stand as evidence and truth in law against you in all courts of record of your maladministration and failure to perform the duties of your office. See evidence below. Missouri Constitution, Article 1, Section 2, Promotion of General Welfare, Natural Rights of Persons, Equality Under the Law, Purpose of Government. And I quote, that all constitutional government is intended to promote the general welfare of the people, that all persons have a natural right to life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness, and the enjoyment of the rights of their own industry, that all persons are created equal and are entitled to equal rights and opportunity under the law, that to give security to these things is the principal office of government, and that when government does not confer this security, it fails in its chief design." Close quote. Vermont Constitution, Chapter 1, Article 7. Government for the people. They may change it. And I quote, that government is or ought to be instituted for the common benefit, protection, and security of the people, nation, community, and not for the particular emolument or advantage of any single person, family, or set of persons who are par a part only of that community, and that the community hath an indubitable, unalienable, and indefeasible right to reform or alter government in such manner as shall be by the community, by that community, judged most conducive to the public will." Close quote. Missouri Constitution, Article 1, Section 3, Powers of the People over Internal Affairs, Constitution and Form of Government. And I quote, that the people of this state have the inherent sole and exclusive right to regulate the internal government and police thereof, and to alter and abolish their constitution and form of government whenever they may deem it necessary to their safety and happiness provided such change be not repugnant to the Constitution of the United States." Close quote. Virginia Constitution, Article 1, Bill of Rights, Section 3, Government Instituted for Common Benefit. And I quote, that government is or ought to be instituted for the common benefit, 
protection, and security of the people, nation, or community. Of all the various modes and forms of government that is best, which is capable of producing the greatest degree of happiness and safety, and is most effectually secured against the danger of maladministration. And whenever any government shall be found inadequate or contrary to these purposes, a majority of the community hath an indubitable, inalienable, and indefeasible right to reform, alter, or abolish it. In such manner, I shall be judged most conducive to the public will. Close quote. This notice is sent to you in peace and with love of Christ, so that you may provide immediate due care to those who have all political power, we, the people. And when you get this job form, please put your full name, first, middle, and last, autograph it here, the date is automatic, Please include your email so you can receive a copy for your records. You will click here if you want to and you can see the list of recipients. You click the submit button and you are done. You are done. You'll get one more window that will open up with a check mark thanking you for your autograph. And you can then download it on your computer for storage in your computer and you can also email it to yourself. for a double record. Thank you for reading this and if you agree with this notice to our government servants, please autograph it and the work is done for you. It will be sent automatically to them. We are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people doing this. Please read it carefully and God bless you. God protect you.